how did I end up with two crazy young animals keeping me from going to sleep? Well, this story starts many years ago. In late 1997, I got a kitten from a shelter and named her Scully. For the next 19 years, she was with me for various moves, career changes, and heck, even lots of relationship changes. She was always there for me and was the best cat friend I ever had. Sadly, cats can't live forever, and just before she turned 19, she quickly declined. You could tell she was just through. The hardest part of owning a pet is having to decide when it's time for them to go. A veterinarian once told me at work that time isn't always a gift we should give to an older animal. That idea stuck with me as I hung out with her knowing I needed to bring her in that day to say goodbye. She will be remembered always. I needed a good four months to allow time before I wanted to get another cat. Our dog Nina Pup Pup, that we've had for a year now, was plenty of fun and responsibility. I mean, she still goes crazy when she sees other dogs on walks. We try to either move her away or put her on a sit and give her a treat for being good, which isn't all the time. But I soon found myself on Pet Finder looking at rescue cats. It didn't take long till I found one that looked perfect for our home, little Sasha. When the rescue dropped her off and after spending some time here, she went right to our basement, which was fine as that was where her litter and food was going to be. I then picked her up and showed her our rescue birds. And of course below them was the one and only Charlie Rabbit. Sasha Kitty didn't know what she got herself into, but she seemed to like Charlie, or rather his big ears right away. Almost too much. now it was time to introduce her to Nina Pup Pup. We kept Pup Pup on a leash at first, so we had a little more control over her. Sometimes a dog can act out more on a leash, so you have to be careful. But Pup had cat experience before with Scully, but not really kitten experience. We soon felt comfortable as Pup didn't show any real aggression to Sasha. She just felt she had to let the new kitty know which areas she was allowed to go in, and which toys were not to be touched. Pup Pup even took it upon herself to take some of Kitty's toys. But Kitty soon realized that Pup was all sniff and no bite. And soon they took off and played. And played. And played. And played. It was like having two wild and crazy animals in the house. It was fun knowing Pup Pup had a friend and kitty who could match your energy. And we had the knowledge knowing that we were providing the best home we could to all of our amazing rescued pets. Now if they would only do more of this instead of running around, I might be able to get some more sleep.